Well, looks like I went 0 for 3 on my schedule predictions from yesterday. My first one, I thought the Steelers would be playing the Browns in week one at home. I got part of it right. Steelers are playing at home, but instead of the Browns, it's the 49ers. My second prediction was I just had a feeling Steelers-Jaguars was going to be in prime time. Instead, that's a 1 o'clock game. And then my third and final prediction, I thought this was easy. I thought this was a slam dunk. It wasn't even a bold prediction. I thought either one of the Bengals games or one of the Ravens games were going to be in prime time. But that's not the case. But to be fair, we do have a Week 18 matchup against the Ravens, which is TBD. I believe they have all Week 18 games as TBD, so... We could definitely see that one going into primetime, almost like last year. Yeah, our Week 17 game against the Ravens got flexed to Sunday Night Football. So if Steelers-Ravens were both in the playoff mix, uh, definitely that could be a Sunday Night game. But enough about my wrong predictions. Let's get into the actual schedule that dropped and what actually will be taking place in 2023. Week 1, as I said, is home against the Niners, 1 o'clock. Week two, Monday Night Football against the Browns, also at home. Week three, that's when we go to Vegas, Sunday Night Football against the Raiders. Week four, also on the road against Houston, one o'clock game. Week five, at home against Baltimore. Week six is our bye week. And then week seven is against the Rams on the road. Week eight at home against the Jaguars. Week nine is our first Thursday night football game against Tennessee, also at home. Another home game in week 10 against the Packers. Week 11, we go on the road against Cleveland. Week 12, we stay in the state of Ohio. Go up against Cincy on Thanksgiving weekend. Week 13, back at home against the Cardinals. Week 14, our second Thursday night football game. This was the first year that the NFL has allowed two Thursday night football games for teams. And we were one of them selected. Week 15 against Indy. It says date and time, TBD. I guess this could be another primetime slot, although I don't really expect the Colts to be that good. Week 16, uh, this is Christmas weekend, uh, 4.30 game on a Saturday. Saturday game, that's kind of cool. Week 17 at Seattle, this is New Year's Eve. And then week 18, the final one at Baltimore, date and time to be determined. Now, before I break down the schedule and go over what I like and what I don't like, let me throw these questions out to you. Let me know down in the comments. What game are you most, most excited about? And which games are you going to be going to? What games are you eyeing up? For me, I'm probably going to all the home games. That's what I'm going to be gunning for. And then also, I'd like to go to a road game or two. Me and my friend group are thinking Vegas, but it looks like the hype on that has dwindled down. I don't know if I'll be making any of those West Coast trips because we got a few. Uh, Rams, also Seattle. We got the Vegas one. So we'll see on that. Uh, maybe I make another trip up to Cleveland this year for that away Browns game. Or maybe it's the Indy one. I know I got some friends out there. But you guys let me know what games you are eyeing up, whether you're coming out of town to go to one that's in Pittsburgh or also some of the away games and then which one are you just most excited about i gotta say week one that week one's pretty good i don't even know if purdy's gonna play obviously that would be a cool storyline pick it versus purdy but you know the niners are a formidable opponent it's also nice we're getting it at home because we haven't had a home game week one in a minute but yeah two historic uh cherished franchises in the league with the steelers and the niners i think that's a good one to start it off with actually this is a good segue to just get into what I like about this schedule. I'll talk about both from, I guess, a viewer standpoint and a player's perspective on these likes and don't likes. So for me personally, I love like these first three games and how it's set up. San Fran, one o'clock, week one at home, and then back-to-back prime times, bro, to start off the season, showcase what we got here. Monday Night Football against the Browns at home, and then going on the road against Vegas for Sunday Night Football. I'm really a fan of that. Also, I like the relative easiness of our schedule. I know the opponents have been out for a minute. We've known who we're going to be going up against, but you know what happens once the schedule actually gets released. You start digging into it a little bit further and analyzing it a little bit more. But you got to think, we're playing the AFC South this year. Uh, They are... I would say arguably the worst division in football. You got the Jaguars who, all right, they're an up-and-coming team, but they snuck into the playoffs last year. Titans, eh. Colts rebuilding. Texans rebuilding. And then the other team, we or the other division we play, 
on the NFC side is the NFC West. And they're traditionally a solid division, but this year, I think they're down. I mean, you got to think about the Rams. Uh, they're kind of in this rebuild tank mode, although they have McVay. They still have some staples back. I feel like that'll be able to keep them relevant, but they're not the Super Bowl Rams from like two years ago. Cardinals, tank mode, Seattle, yeah, they're in the playoff mix, right? I don't think they're back to like Super Bowl contention though or anything. And then the Niners, we were just talking about playing them week one. Obviously, they are good, but I think week one is a great time to catch them because their quarterback situation is going to be up in the air. Obviously, they're going to name a week one starter, but you're either going to be getting Brock Purdy coming off of this injury or a Trey Lance who literally has only started like, what, two games in the NFL. Uh, so I like that for the Steelers and San Fran. Like they're one of those teams like last year. Takes them a little bit while to get going and get that momentum. They started the season three and four. So I feel like us getting San Fran in week one, particularly at home, is better than us getting San Fran in like week five or week 12 or not week five, week 11 or week 12 or something like that. And then you throw in our wild card games being you got the Packers at home without an Aaron Rodgers, New England at home without Tom Brady. Obviously, they just they haven't been the same. They're kind of on the downswing without Brady. And Mac Jones might be scarred from what happened last year. I know they brought in an offense, an actual offensive coordinator in Bill O'Brien. But man, like this isn't the Patriots team of old. And then our last one is the Raiders. How certain are we that they're going to be better than last year? I know they made some different moves and whatnot. They brought in Jimmy G over Derek Carr. They also lost to Darren Waller. Like they, they shifted their team around a bit. But like, I don't know if they're a lock to be better. Josh McDaniels really hasn't done much in the league as a head coach. So. I think those three games are in the Steelers' favor as well. Obviously, we have our division. Our division is going to be tough. There, there's no doubt about it. But we've taken care of tough AFC North divisions in the past. So again, on paper, right now, as we sit here, May 12th, schedule looks beneficial to the Steelers. And trust me, I'm not one for taking too much stock into like the easiness or the difficulty of schedule because there's just... So much turnover on a year-to-year -year basis on who was a good team last year and now they might be bad this year and vice versa that you just got to play the teams that are in front of you. So it's not something I care about too much, but again, we're sitting here in the off season and it is something that I noticed or it was something to take note of, I thought. And then the last thing I'm liking, and this is probably a little bit more low-key, I don't know if it's going to be talked about that much, but... I like that three game home stretch we have in the middle of the season from week eight to week 10 against the Jaguars, Tennessee Titans on Thursday Night Football, and then uh, to finish it up week 10 against the Packers. And it's coming off of a week removed from our bye in week six, uh, right before the week eight game against the Jaguars. We have to go on the road week seven against the Rams, which is probably going to be a borderline home game anyway, if we're being honest. It's going to be like 60, 70% Steeler fans waving their terrible towels. But you think of the timing of it. Week six by, you assess what you did those first five weeks. Uh, you let the injuries heal, heal up a little bit. You make your adjustments, and then you try to implement it in the following weeks. I mean, we know how the buy stuff works, but I feel like that's a good time to see things play out. Try to execute that stuff. Like I said, you just go on that one quick West Coast road trip against the Rams, who again, I think are more stock down these days than stock up. And then, yeah, you have that three-week stretch at home, middle of the season. I just really feel like it's good timing, and I feel like good teams uh, can really take advantage uh, of that middle of the season time period to find their identity. Now, that's the end of what I like. Now, let's get into what I don't like about this schedule. Uh, the two Thursday night games. Like, what the hell, bro? This is the first year they said a team can play multiple times on Thursday night football. And of course, they give it to the Steelers. Now, there's two perspectives on this. Me, from a viewer standpoint, I like it. I actually like Thursday Night Football. I think it's pretty dope. But from a player standpoint, we've known the complaints. We've known that they've talked about Thursday Night Football just not being good for their bodies, taking its toll. Uh, so that's that's not favorable. That's not in the Steelers' best interest. We'll just put it that way, to have two Thursday Night Football games. The silver lining is both of them are at home, though, at least. But then the last thing that I don't like is that week six bye. I know I talked about and kind of spun it as a positive and where it landed in relation to that three-game home stretch, but I don't like early buys, man. I thought we had the perfect one last year. 
um, in week nine. That's when we, that was like a critical turning point for us in the season. And I feel like that's a good spot to get the injuries healed up. Week six, you might not be as banged up at that point. But what I will say, at least it's not week four, because I, I don't know if they still do week four, but in the past, like, those week four buys are just absolutely ridiculous. Like, we're only three weeks in. Come on. Like, why do we have a buy that early? So, me, I don't like the earlier buys. I would like it week eight and on, but it's random. It's not going to be going your way perfectly every schedule release for every new season. So, uh, it is what it is. I, I guess, like I said, at least it's not like week four, week five. Week six, we can make it work. And with where it lands, with that week eight to week 10 home stretch. I, I think it'll be I think it'll be actually a little bit more beneficial than um, what you're thinking initially whenever you see like an early buy, if that makes sense. But you guys let me know uh, what you think about this schedule, what you like, what you don't like. What do you think they hit on? What do you think they missed on? And I'm assuming, too, before I sign off, you guys want some sort of record prediction from me. Well, it just so happens that... Uh, this took place on Bleach Report yesterday. And that's it for this edition of Big Deek News on a Friday. Enjoy your weekend. Stay safe. And here we go, Steelers. Stay chilling. Peace.